We nominated Sonia because as one of our colleagues stated, she is a superstar student, but also with humility and grace. We particularly acknowledge that she, along with a few classmates, created Change the World Club. And in the Change the World Club, they wanted to make a difference for people in the community that might be struggling. CTW really opened my eyes to like how fortunate we are to have what we have. In the summer, I started refilling the food pantry across the road from our school for the Good Food Impact. And um, I was surprised at how many people use that food pantry. And we also helped assemble kits for the homeless youth and pets which were personally delivered by the Canadian Courage Project. I'm Allison McKendry. I'm a special education resource teacher at Maple Leaf Public School. I first started teaching Kaylee about four years ago and the growth that I have seen with Kaylee has been absolutely incredible. Kaylee takes amazing initiative in the classroom and around the school. She will help with the snack bins, she'll set our classroom timer, organize our books, and just generally help cleaning with the classroom without being asked. I want to be successful for mostly me and my mom, but my family as well. She's on senior choir, band, eco club, knitting club. Not only is she helpful in the classroom, but she's also helpful for the whole school community as well. With Kaylee having an exceptionality and being in a special education classroom, it can be really overwhelming at times but she really is brave in that she always approaches things with a positive mindset. What I like to do at the school when a new student comes is make them feel welcome. When I first heard about the Celebrating Student Success Award, um, Daniel came to mind right away. He's always been really dedicated, hardworking, and has just shown a lot of initiative. Some of my accomplishments include organizing primary and junior sports clubs like primary basketball and soccer club. He talked to Madame Beatty, our principal, and she approved it. And he did all of the work from organizing all of the sign up, making announcements, organizing the teams. The kids really look up to Daniel. I've been volunteering in the community since I was four and it makes me feel good to see kids are having fun and enjoying school more. Daniel welcomed all of the SK students that would be coming to grade one this year and did tours uh, with the parents and, and the kids. That just showed some more initiative and he's already told me that he'd like to do that again this year. I had the real pleasure of working with Brendan starting last year when he was in grade six. Nicole Laviolette worked very closely with me, teaching me all the technology to accommodate Brendan. But I found very fast that Brendan was not only very confident, but independent on putting all of that together. I think that my accomplishments were working at the tech club and helping out my students in my classroom with their computers and coding. And he taught us all how to hear better, and it made our shows better, and that confidence grew. And then this year, he became tech lead. I feel like that may be my steps for uh, teach others maybe to be uh, confident in themselves and probably people with disability can try things that they think they can't and overcome what they can't do. I feel very proud of myself and what I have done for being nominated as Celebrating Civic Success this year. This is somebody who can boldly go where he's never gone before. Some of the accomplishments I've made is helping with the community class. I help them by playing with them, reading books with them, and just walking around with them. I also do projects with them, I take care of them, and sometimes I go to the gym with them and we play with hula hoops, yoga balls, and more. The impact I made in school makes people feel very happy and a lot of joy. And when that happens, I feel very happy. Zachary is just a natural leader, um, but more than that, he genuinely leads with kindness and with his heart. So I think that makes him stand out. 
Not only does he bring all of that energy, but he also motivates all those around him to do the same. Hi, I'm Alina Durumshi, and I'm a grade 11 student at Stouffville District Secondary School. So Alina is a grade 11 student here at Stouffville, and she is an exemplary student, as well as serving her second year on our student council. And now she's the vice president of the school, and she's a strong leader in our school community. I think that through my role in student council, I've tried to foster school spirit and unity within my school. And I think seeing the effects of that has definitely made me think that my time and dedication has been worth it. One word to describe Alina would be dynamic. She is a true visionary and she is forceful in her approach to planning and executing and collaborating with her peers. I think that in the last few years I've been given many opportunities that I'm really grateful for and I think that they really helped shape me into becoming who I am. Micah was typically a shy and quiet student when I first met her and it's amazing to see how over the last couple of years she's really grown to be quite confident and she's grown to be uh, a leader around our school and our school community. She really has delved into a lot of the clubs, teams and of special events that we have here at German Mills Public School. She's taken on lead roles and opportunities and has always volunteered her time to give back to the entire school community. She's selfless. She is creative, artistic, she's clever, and she loves to help people. One thing I really do enjoy and would like to pursue maybe in the future is drawing and like art. And I think animation is such a, a beautiful medium and it can be used to create some pretty amazing things. I could use my art to do something good or raise awareness of like an issue or anything. That'd be really cool. One word that describes Camila's approach and attitude would be optimistic. Uh, she is always looking at the positive side of things. I'd be part of the Coyote Camp at the start of the year. That is an activity in the school for grade nine, welcome grade nine. I create a MLL club, multilingual learners club, and also I am a translator in the high school. She has become the multilingual language learner voice here at the school where students feel they have someone to go to, someone up here, so the biggest accomplishment, I believe, would be the MLL Town Hall. So this is where Camila, alongside some of her peers, planned and delivered an in-school uh, field trip to help them navigate in new, you know, in, navigate through a new environment, new learning environment, just like herself. I used to have that feeling that it was international students and high school students, but now I feel that everyone has new friends, a uh, group, a social group, and they are comfortable in the school. Pelia is an extremely successful student, of course, but what makes her stand out is the hardships that she has gone through and just how she continues to face every single thing uh, that she commits to with passion and with a sense of joy and just bringing others um, up around her rather than just kind of like taking up all the space. I would say my greatest accomplishment is definitely placing at the top of my category for the DECA business competition and advancing to the international level where I was recognized as a top 10 global performer. You say, hey, what do you think of this problem? Like, how can we solve it? She's like, yeah, uh-huh, great, love problems. This is how we're gonna solve it. And, and with a smile on her face, not even a second to like take in that barrier. Ultimately, I hope to become a corporate lawyer to combine my passion for law and business. Um, in the next four years, I'm gonna be studying at Harvard University on a full scholarship. Um, I'll be studying economics, and once I graduate, I hope to pursue law as well. My name is Lillian Tu. I'm the assistant head of science at Millican Mills High School, and I've nominated Sarah Anna. Sarah is the perfect recipient for this award. She is a risk taker without being reckless, and what that allows her to do is do very big things without worrying so much and doing it with efficiency and beauty. 
I think following the things I love and continuing to put work into things I love really motivates me. I wanted to do something about the problems which Indigenous people face in our community. So through Inclusivity and Equity Club, I was able to lead a magic braiding workshop in collaboration with the FNMI, YRDSB collaborators and trustees. It's something that the students in my school really enjoyed. I feel like I was able to bring an interactive way to kind of learn about Indigenous education. When you love doing something, you want to keep on doing it and um, keep on putting as much effort you can into it. Hello, my name is Ryan Singh. I'm a grade 12 student at King City Secondary School. I think the thing that stands out to me most about Ryan is he is this amazing combination of somebody who dreams big, has big ideas, but at the same time has the ability to really think about how to bring those dreams to fruition. Some of my accomplishments at school include my time as a mentor. I am a member of the student council and I've been able to do a lot of activities through student council surrounding our school environment. I'm the co-editor-in-chief of the yearbook, so that's also allowed me to be very involved with what's going on. And recently I've gotten myself involved with our school's Relay for Life team. The grade 12 students were the ones who, in terms of their grade nine year, were most impacted by COVID. Ryan is constantly looking to give back to our grade nine, something that he couldn't receive because of COVID. My goals for my future definitely have to do within the field of psychology, because I definitely see myself in a position where I'm able to be social with others and I'm able to help them. I have been teaching in this board for 25 years and have seen a lot of amazing students and no one stands out the way Aiden so does. He is so compassionate and he is so warm and welcoming and because he wants to help, that's, that's, what, that's what makes him stand out. Tech really um, motivates me to come in early because that's my interest. And I like the way how people feel happy. It's because of his empathy, because of his passion for technology, because of his passion for learning, those are things that make him stand out. If I'm busy helping somebody, he's up, leaving his work. He'll do it for homework so he can go and help somebody out. He doesn't seek out accolades. He doesn't want that recognition. He does it because of who he is. Hello, my name is Linda Lam. I'm a secondary teacher at Markham District High School and I nominate August 10. August is very humble. If you ask any other staff that have worked with August, other students, they will say the same, that he had made a huge impact in our school. August has contributed a lot in our GSA club, which is Gender Sexuality Association. He has shown great care in terms of what GSA represents and encouraging identity affirmation and helping others to learn who they are. The accomplishment I'm most proud of is being able to rebuild the club um, as a GSA. Being able to help people and being able to provide that safe space and interact with people is really what motivates me to keep going with this club. When I walk around in the hallways and I see someone that continuously comes to the club, it's nice to know that like we share a community and that we support each other even though we don't interact anywhere else. It's good to have that in the back of my mind, just you know, waving to them in the hallways. It's, it's nice to have a support system. Uliana demonstrates kindness and respect to all students. She has so much patience for other people. As one of the teachers who supervises her in a club, I've seen Juliana take leadership position, but in a quiet sense, without asking for anything back. So that's the kind of support that is so needed in any community. And I value that so, so much. I'm very committed to all of the classwork and all of the assignments that are given to me. I um, also became a leader of SHIELD initiative. These shields are used on the IV poles in hospitals. So what they do is they put those IV poles on the, uh, this shield on the floor and they have this um, kind of poles and they just go ro rolling around in, like in the hospitals. I'm sure they probably feel very happy to see because there's some of their might be their favorite characters then we give them, so I, I'm pretty sure probably a lot of the feedback is probably positive.
The reason why I nominated Olive, um, it was in large part because as a new staff member to the school, I didn't really know what my place was going to be among the school. And very quickly, uh, I got to know Olive in my art classes, and I realized that she has a lot of leadership potential. She knows a lot about uh, diversity, inclusion, and equity. And we just had to start having those kind of conversations. Some accomplishments I've done at this school are advocating for myself and other students, helping to pitch ideas for our student leadership club, and doing the morning announcements. I never had to prompt her. If Olive saw a student that was suffering or wasn't feeling well or who had just spoken to me and just needed some time, Olive would never hesitate to go and speak with them. I think my main motivation is just that I want to create a space for myself and other people. I want a space where everyone can be themselves and be safe. I feel good knowing that other students feel safer at our school because a lot of the times people don't feel free enough to express themselves and I think that some of my impact, even if it's minor, is just helping people discover that fact. I nominated Lewis because he's a wonderful uh, member of our classroom community. He's a member of our um, Gender and Sexuality Alliance at our school. Um, that's, a, that's a new initiative he's participating in this year. It is fun and fighting for equality of the LGBTQ community, so that would be also what I would be proud of. In the volleyball team, I play as power position and, and co as middle. I now participate in a lot of sports other than volleyball, and it made me think of what life could be other than video games and online. He supports our food bank program across the school by helping to pack all of the boxes and everything to be delivered to families. I help the MLL students with their translating and now they, they could understand some basic English. He's always making sure that others feel comfortable in whatever space we're in and he really just is someone that makes being here better.